exploring hidden caves or surfing waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Hey, you guys, welcome to this update video. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. It's kind of a sad video to make, but at the same time, I have hope. Go and subscribe. Click the like button if you like haul videos and travel videos and all that kind of stuff. And then come back. We're going to talk all things travel, especially during COVID. Pack your bags. I got a one-way ticket to explore the world tonight. I want you back. So come with me. All right, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana Brown, in case you are new. And if you are one of my regular followers, you know that I probably don't have good news for you in terms of our travel potential this year. So we have been trying to go to Hawaii since the very, very beginning of this whole COVID-19 business. We were weeks away from being able to go when this whole pandemic hit and we had to put our travel plans on hold, which is totally fine, sad, but totally fine. We have been working with our the Verbo owner that we have been renting the unit from this entire time and he has been pushing out our credit and he is now being nice enough because Hawaii, in case you don't know where we're going, in case you are new, we've been trying to go to Maui for the first time. Hawaii shut their doors again, which is really, really sad. They are pushing their open date to September 1st. It was August 1st and we had a lot of hope to be able to go the very last week of our summer, but now it's not going to happen. Which is, again, it's totally fine because we don't want to go if it's not safe for us. We don't want to go if it's not safe for Hawaii or for the other tourists that are going. So that is the update as of right now. I don't think it's the last update we're going to get. I don't know if we have a high potential of it actually being open in September. That's where it's at right now. So let me just explain to you what I'm going to do in this video, just so I'm not all chitter chatter this entire time. Our plan right now is to try and go in the fall or the winter of 2020. That being said, we're not going to go if it's still a risk for, even if they've opened up, we don't wanna be the guinea pigs. We don't wanna go the first of September. We're talking October, November, maybe December, if our budget can afford December rates, which are like twice as much as the rates that we've already paid for. So we are waiting on news from the kids' school on whether they're going to be all online or partial online school. Kind of explain the situation. Either we wait until next year and go, which is totally fine, or we wait and get comfortable with school, see if Hawaii opens up. My daughter wants to know if she can have some chips. Yeah, we're gonna pause for one second while Abby goes to get some chips because that's life as a mom. Hang on. So we've told the kids we want them to get comfortable with school, no matter what that looks like. If they're all online, if they're in the classroom one day a week, whatever that situation is, we want them to get into their routine and get into a system of what their daily life looks like. And we've told them we want you to get comfortable with it. And then if you get burned out, if you get frustrated, this whole online doing it from home thing is hard work and we're not used to doing that. They're not homeschool kids and we're not a homeschool family. And so it takes a different mindset to be able to do that. And if they get burned out from it, we want them to be open with us. And if they need a break in November or a break in October and Hawaii is open and it's safe for us to travel and we can test, then we're gonna go pack up our bags again. We're just gonna go if it's safe. And that's the only way we're gonna go if it's safe. So don't troll down below if you're new. I'm not gonna go to Hawaii and infect everyone. We're going to test and get our negative results before we travel. That being said, I wanted to do this travel haul because I kind of need to wrap my head around the fact that we're not going right now. Part of that is putting some of this stuff away and some using some of it this summer. We have six weeks left in our summer. I need to just kind of wrap my head around that, show you what we've got for travel, because I think a travel video next year, it's still gonna be a viable video. And so when we have travel plans in the future, we'll show you a new video, new things of how we're packing. So I just thought I would show you the things that I've bought so far for this trip and I will use in the future, but some of the items are going to expire. Let me just <laughs> give you an example. The Pop-Tarts expire in September. I need to use them before we're gonna be able to travel again because we're not going in September. We may not go in October. Let me explain also when I bought all of this stuff. I bought this stuff leading up to March. We booked our travel to Maui December 26th, the day after Christmas. I know that's kind of crazy. So from that point on, I was watching clearance deals online, on Amazon, in grocery st stores, 
things like that. I was watching for clearance items. That's my deal. I always look for things on the sale. And I was only buying things if they were highly discounted or if I knew I really, really needed them. And then the pandemic hit. I did not buy a majority of this stuff when we as business owners and family, we own a, you know, we have a family to take care of. We did not buy this kind of stuff during the pandemic and when we were potentially going to lose our business. We own a shoe store if you are new. So I don't want anyone to think that we were buying frivolous travel things while we were in lockdown and you know, trying to think that we were gonna travel when we couldn't travel. Some of the stuff I did buy from the dollar spot at Target like a couple weeks ago, but I'm going to use this this summer. So it's not necessarily just for travel. But everything else has been bought pre-pandemic. I didn't use a budget that was, let me just explain it to you this way. I'm so on point with my budget and when my budget is used that I was planning on buying the very last of my supplies to go on this vacation so that when I got home from vacation, my credit card statement was zero. I was timing purchases to the very day before my April statement came out and we were going on vacation in April so that I did not buy anything on my credit card. And I was looking forward to having a zero balance on my credit card come May 3rd when it came out. That's how meticulous I was with my spending. So I did not purchase things when the whole pandemic was going on. I just, I did it really. There's three different categories of stuff for this haul video that I wanna show you. All right, the first thing we're gonna start out with is clothing. I was getting a lot of good deals back in January and February on clearance t-shirts because that's not the time you buy a t-shirt. This one I think is from Fred Meyer and I think it says wonderful. Then I went to Old Navy. Um, what did this one say? So much love. So I, li I guess I liked all the block letter styles. <laughs> then this one that says cool like that. That one it might make embarrass my teenagers, but that's okay. That's my job. Um, and so that one is that. It's kind of cute. I just like the sun and the trees and all that kind of stuff. I have already done my haul video from Fabletics. I will link that up here. And one of those items was a brassiere. It's just, I'm a large girl. So it just is what it is. But it's reversible, it has that periwinkle blue on one side and then polka dot on the other side. I wear, um, a, it's like a sports bra like this underneath my swimsuit. The girls gotta be held up. The girls gotta be held up. Then I also got from Fabletics two pairs of their shorts. If you're wondering if you are a larger girl like me, Fabletics does have larger sizes. And I'm gonna tell you, these are my favorite short to wear like swimming. I'm a little bit uncomfortable wearing them as just regular shorts, but they have like the little side pocket right here. I get nervous about putting my phone in this pocket because I don't wanna get in the water and forget my phone, so I don't use that. But they're very snug. They kind of tuck you in without cinching you up, if you know what I mean. But I, so I like these. I have a pair of black ones as well as these pink ones. And I really, really like them. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable at the beach when everything is kind of all tucked in, if you know what I mean. Then I have been on a hunt for some swimsuit covers. And I actually have one more on order just because I want to use it this summer. This one is really cute. It's kind of got that little ombre blue to white. And then it has the open key shoulders, but it does have a little bit of a longer sleeve, goes down to my elbow, but it's super drapey and flowy, so I can wear it over my swimsuit, be able to walk around the resort or down to the beach or whatnot. But I do have another one on order from Swimsuits for All, which is where my swimsuit is from. I've been using that one this summer. I got it on clearance for like $10 or something like that. Super cheap and it has sleeves also, but it's like a full dress, but it's not a t-shirt material, so it's really cute. I'll show you that the day it arrives, just like in a regular vlog. If Jason watches this video, he's gonna get mad. Doesn't like it when I buy him new t-shirts for travel, but I got him that color. I think he already actually has this one in those two colors. He likes blues, but I'm trying to get him to wear some other colors. These are both kind of a green color. I got these ones at Target last week, actually, because they were $6. I do like him to dress a little bit nicer. He tends to wear the same clothing over and over to the point where he's he wore the same t-shirt to every one of my children's births. And <laughs> they're seven years apart um, between the oldest and the youngest. So he's kind of a man of habit. And so I always like to buy one or two t-shirts here and then I buy him a couple t-shirts on our vacations to bring back home to kind of change him up. He's kind of an ordinary man and that's fine. He's cheap and he's frugal 
but I also like them to look a little bit nice. So they're just t-shirts, there's nothing fancy. We're going on a tropical vacation or hopefully going on a tropical tropical vacation. And then I did get this dress. I don't, I don't like it at all and it's huge on me. I ended up having to buy a size bigger than I need to have. I thought it might be cute, but it's just not. I don't know, I'm debating. We'll see. It's tropical print, it's really flowy, it's really lightweight, it has a really cool fabric. I just don't love it. And the only reason why I bought it is because I needed $3 to get free shipping on order from Swim For Us. I believe it's when I bought my swimsuit. I needed to get $50 in order to get free shipping and shipping was like $12 or something like that. This dress was on clearance for $4. So for $4, I got free shipping. So I might just give this away. I might, on a summer day, I might put this on and see if I like it. It was hard to tell if I liked it during the winter when I got it back in like February. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not, but again, it's just been in a bag. I haven't like done anything with it. Okay, so that is it for the clothing. Like I said, I've been wearing my swimsuit already. So I'm gonna show you some of the other supplies. Oh, I, did, I got one more dress. I don't know, I just had envisions of wearing it with my swimsuit underneath it as we were like getting lunch and then wanting to hit the beach, but I wanted to look nice. So I think I'm just gonna save it so that it feels fun to wear. Isn't it fun to wear new clothes on vacation? This is a really long video, I'm sorry. But if you're into it, you're into it and you're gonna keep watching. Then the other things we got for travel, Jason finally got his own travel pillow. He picked this one out. It actually folds up and stuffs into this little pouch. So he picked this one out. He really likes this cushy feel. All right, so then we're gonna move on to kind of supplies and bathroom, I don't know, stuff that I've kind of picked up and then we'll do food. All right, so like I said, I did pick these up from the Target dollar spot just a few weeks ago because I found that we need to kind of keep some of our stuff in, they're not waterproof. I could not dunk this in water and have my phone be kept safe. Then I've also purchased some travel bags. So let me show you that they're, they're both the same color. This one is for, I actually have a blue one in both of these. This is just a travel envelope. Um, it's like a passport envelope or a passport wallet. We're taking cash as our spending. We've already explained that in another video. We have cash that we've saved up. I need to kind of disperse that per kid when we go and then also for activities and for food. So I have separate envelopes and it makes it easier if I have a bigger wallet separate than my regular wallet in order to kind of work through that cash um, and as well as keeping other documents safe like our airplane tickets, car rental information. I always like to have that kind of separate and I can tuck it away or I can put it in a locked safe at our hotel. So I got this one and I have these travel bags. They're the little cubes. We already have these. I bought two sets, like I said. I have them in green and I have them in blue. I'm trying to debate whether I keep both of the travel cubes for us or I give this to a family member for a birthday. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So this might be a gift because I don't think we're going to need both of the travel cubes because we already have a whole set. Then I got two inner tubes to, you know, little blow up tubes. We love the Hawaiian prints. Um, I believe the hotel we're going to, the Hanawakai, does have a lazy river and they do allow floaty tubes. The last hotel we went to in Kauai did not. And so I don't wanna have to bother going to Walmart when we get there. So I'm just gonna take these with me. They're like $2 at Walmart, as well as some water socks. And these are nice on the coral when you're in, not that you should step on the coral, but it's rocky near coral. And so I always like to wear these when I go out to snorkel so that my feet don't get all cut up. And then for sunscreen, you can see I've got all my sunscreen, is a pouch that will be separate and just for sunscreen and contained a little bit better, contained for travel, but also for while we're there. You can pull this one out and use it. And it also has a little clip on it. I don't know what I would ever clip it to, but I could if I needed to. So I have regular sunscreen. This is just a uh, copper tone spray and then one lotion here in the back. But when we also travel to Hawaii, we also take with sunscreen. This is the brand Alba and it is coral reef safe. You have to wear um, a sunscreen that will not damage and kill the coral reef. This sunscreen will. 
this will kill the coral. So we tell the kids, if you're playing at the pool, you are allowed to wear this sunscreen. And then if they've been in the pool long enough, like two, three hours or something, that sunscreen has worn off and then they can wear this sunscreen if we happen to go down to the beach. That's the only time we use this sunscreen. Last time we went through two packs of these, they're from Costco, so I, I might have to buy a separate container of this in Hawaii when we're there if we end up being able to go. But like I said, I bought this at the very beginning of this whole pandemic because I was waiting for it to go on rebate at Costco. And it went on rebate right when we were stocking up to stay at home during quarantine. So I bought it just because it was on rebate, but I only bought one because that was kind of what my budget would allow. So I will buy one in Hawaii when we go when we need it. I'm not gonna worry about buying it ahead of time. All right, so then I also have a bunch of face sticks we like to put these on instead of lotion sunscreen i have also heard that on the road to hannah in maui that the bugs are ridiculous the mosquitoes before bath and body works shut down this is actually a surprise i forgot that i have this i was able to go and get oh it smells so good i was able to go get some waikiki beach coconut body cream and I'm glad I did because now I can only order it online and I don't wanna pay for shipping. Ugh, it just smells like coconut and beach and it's just everything good. All right, another thing that I did pre-quarantine and pandemic that I'm really glad I did now, and it's tempting, I actually just saw these and I was like, oh, this is really tempting to pull these out and use them. They're Clorox wipes. You guys, like this is crazy. We labeled these Clorox wipes. We had these all packaged up, ready to put into our suitcases. And now this is like gold. This is like gold to have all these. But I had them all packed up so every kid had one in their bag. We wiped down our airplane seats and the trays and I was totally gonna do that before any of this happened. And now I'm kinda just tempted to just hang on to them because I can't buy in Clorox wipes. I can only buy one container at Target per visit. So I kind of, this is gold right here. I did a trip back in February to the dollar store. I got a whole bunch of stuff for my daughter's birthdays and whatnot, but I also got some stuff for travel. I got some hair gel for myself. Now I actually use mousse to do my curls, but I will take this one to travel with and try it out because I don't tend to do my hair other than curls or in a bun when I'm traveling because it's just too humid there. There's no point in trying to do your hair. Facial mist, it's a cucumber and aloe. I thought it would be really good if our faces are sunburned. Kind of be able to spray that on and kind of cool our face down if we get burned. And then I have a facial scrub, coconut and sea salt. Again, these are all from the dollar store. I actually will link the video that I did these all because I saved hundreds of dollars on this kind of stuff. I will link that below. I actually got lucky and found a travel disinfectant spray. So I got lucky with this kind of stuff before any of this happened. Like this is just gold. Look, I have some more sanitizer. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy that I was able to find this kind of stuff and hang on to it. I also will take a bar of my own Dove soap. I don't like hotel soap. It's always drying. It's always kind of a cheap brand. Then I get my younger two girls their own travel toothbrush and toothpaste. Every time we travel, toothbrushes wear out anyway. So they'll use this for travel and then they can use it going forward. The rest of us all have electric toothbrushes and we have carrying cases for our toothbrushes. We just got new replacement heads for those. So I'm not worried about the rest of us, but the two younger girls can have that. And then um, we do tend to have the younger girls take bath often when we go on trips like this because they get all covered in sand and we can kind of contain the sand if it's in a bathtub kind of push it off to the side and then let the water drain so i thought it would be kind of fun if they had a bath bomb and look it's a little pineapple so i thought that would be just kind of fun and an extra thing to do i also got myself some just cheap razors and then there's six of us there's no point in buying travel size toothpaste anymore i think last time we went through three cases of travel size toothpaste which is just ridiculous so we're just going for a whole one like, there's no point. I'll just pack it in my regular bag and not have to worry about the size and the liquid and all that kind of jazz. Okay, so we have food left. All right, so we do tend to shop at Costco right when we get to Hawaii. Every trip we've gone to, we pull right into, into Costco, get all our groceries. We've already cashed out our rebates, but that's usually what we use our rebates for to get all of our groceries. That being said, we need snacks. And so I went ahead and got some Pop-Tarts and some Cheez-Its and some goldfish. This one is good until November 9th. So we'll have to wait on that one and see if we can still use that one before we travel. This guy, I don't know what's in here. I set it aside, the mystery bag. It might be Cheez-Its, 
but I don't know why they'd be in two different bags. So we might have to open this one because I don't know what it is. I'll show you later how we pack snacks for trips. There's no point in doing that now because we're not going anywhere. I also thought it would be fun to have, oh, I didn't put it in here. I also have some plastic, they're just the plastic cups and I just got them from Amazon, I think, and that come with lids and I have some uh, reusable straws we'll just take with us. But we really love to have Italian sodas, but I also love to make smoothies when we're in Hawaii instead of having to buy them all the time because they're expensive, times six. I mean, each smoothie could be six to eight dollars a piece. That's a lot of money every single time you want a cold beverage. <laughs> and so we're gonna take some of our own syrups to make our own Italian sodas. Then I had just set aside some breakfast bars, some fig bars, probably from a box that I had gotten from Costco. Again, back in like March, the beginning of March, thinking I was just going to pack these for travel, for the travel day, like before we go to the airport or at the airport when you're just kind of hungry before you're getting on a plane instead of having to buy expensive airport food. But I'm probably gonna have to eat these now and then we'll buy another pack when we're ready to travel. And this is just to show <laughs> how prepared I was. This is leftover Easter candy, guys. Easter candy. This is proof that I was buying stuff back in March and February. It's just leftover Easter candy. And people weren't eating these chocolates from their, their buckets of candy. So I went ahead and put them in a Ziploc and I said, well, I'll just throw them in their, their airport bags and they can have a snack on the plane. But I'm going to probably have to pull those out because that's going to expire. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little travel haul, even though we can't travel right now. We will update you as we know more, but we're probably gonna wait till right before we go. We don't wanna make it an issue. We don't want people worried about us. So if we do end up going, it might actually just be a surprise video. We're going! <laughs> we do talk about this a lot. I worry that I talk about it too much, especially with my friends and my family. So I'm gonna stop talking about it. And it's kinda hard to talk about it when we can't go. So if you don't hear us talking about it, don't worry, we're hoping to go some point in the future. It actually like could be really good news because it's cheaper to go in the fall. We actually might use only half of all the credits that we have saved that we've gotten refunds for. So we actually might be able to go twice. That could be really fun. Oh, Chelsea just got home. They already know this. We might be able to go in the fall and then we might be able to go again in February. I'll explain that again in another video. That one won't cost us very much money at all because these credits, they have to be used and we might have to go twice. Oh, my kids just saw the Pop-Tarts. Take care and hopefully we'll see you in a future travel video. But until then, we're just doing regular life here in the Brown household. We've got four girls and we're just gonna do regular summer life. So you'll see lots of beachy and fun, you know, lake and pool stuff around town. And then hopefully after we get started on school, this whole pandemic ends or gets better and we can travel again. So take care and we'll see you next time.